Okay. Okay, talk to me nice. Oh yeah. It's nice. Bags for two days. I get to fight for the world. Yeah. Mama like thought. Yeah. Sip it on all. Yeah, water gone ball. Yeah. Big coop mega zor. Yeah. Plain paddock is aluminum four. Yeah. yeah. What's up, y'all? Currently, I am in Las Vegas, Nevada. Maybe some casino chips in my hand. I'm going to the Olympics. I seen online people was like, "What? Javel McGee going to the Olympics? Do you not do you not know what what my what I could like? Come on, man. Let's like let's." Knee top, light head rest. The girl throw back, Michelin nest. But it's not about that. They called me last minute. I was like, pack your bags. You're coming to Tokyo. So I had to pack real fast. All these bags I got. I think I might have overpacked, but it was just, I was in a rush. Now I'm here, locked in, and, and, and ready to get it, man. It's an amazing opportunity. Right now, I'm trying to get accumulated to a, or, or I'm trying to get accommodated to what's going on. We got a meeting tonight at 9, 9 p.m. Um, but right now I'm about to go and get a workout in. I'm gonna take y'all through this journey of me getting in tip top shape for these Tokyo games. And so I can win a gold for the country, man. First step with this workout. I know the NBA is technically a world stage, but it's different when you're fighting for your country, man. It's totally different. Just got done working out. I had to order me some food. I mean, I just ordered me some food. I know I'm vegan, so I'm just show y'all what I got. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you what I got. I got a, I got a vegan burger. I got some fries, some coleslaw, some potatoes, some Good green juice. I think there's like spinach and apples or something. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, my friend. Stay hydrated. Since I got here, all I've really been doing is just conditioning, trying to get my conditioning right. Um, I work now, obviously, in the summer, but I wasn't playing five on five yet. So when I got here, all I've been doing is working out. I think we play Spain today. I'm not going to play, but I'm going to uh, work out before the game. So. Just getting right, man. Getting right for Tokyo, man. I'm excited. It's, it's an amazing opportunity. If you look at my last five years, six years, it's been crazy. And it ain't been, ain't nothing been handed to me either. I seen somebody say, I don't even know who the was. I don't even know who he was. Some random dude on, uh, I don't know if it was ESPN or what it was, saying I stumbled into to some I'm like, what? I stumbled? I ain't stumbled into shit, bro. Hard work, something you don't know nothing about, man. Day in, day out, hard work, bro. When I got to the Warriors for my first championship, I was on a non-guaranteed, bro. Non-guaranteed contract. For those in the world who don't know what a non-guaranteed contract means, it means until a certain date, I think it was like in January or something, they can just cut you and it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get your money. So I was on one of those as a seven year back. That year, we won it. Boom, came back for the minimum with the Warriors. We won that one, then I left. I could have came back to the Warriors, stayed for the minimum, but I was like, I need to provide for my family, you know what I'm saying? So, went to the Lakers, had my best season, one of my best seasons in my career, uh, playing next to LeBron. But the next year, won the NBA championship, as a starting center, the whole season, number one in the West. And then this year, going to the Olympics, my past five, six years have been crazy. Like, four or five years have been crazy, like, and blessed, truly a blessing. I can't complain about a damn thing, man. A damn thing. Head to Tokyo on, but a great finish 
for the United States. After a tough start to the exhibition series here in Vegas, finishing with an 83-76 win over Spain. All right. Off to Tokyo, I go. Gotta get on a smooth little flight. And um, it's 12 hours. So I'm taking y'all with me. We'll see what it takes to be an Olympian. What we go through, what we gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Y'all deserve this, this is what y'all deserve, the behind the scene, the BTS, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have fun. One thing we're gonna do is have fun. Are we back round two? You already know, you already know what's going on, Jabari. You already know. You know, bubble with it. We're going back to the bubble with it. What up, dog? What up, my G? What's up, my flight. 12 hour flight. This is crazy. Actually, it's a toilet you back or something. Yeah, I'm not. Just a little bit. Lost. Two face. Two brush. Man, some socks that ain't gonna fit my big ass feet. Cause you got a booger, body lotion for your ashy ass, a comb for your nappy hair, some shit for your nails, for your f your cuticles. Watch that stink ass breath, pee, and write your pen pal, earplugs. See, you don't gotta hear all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Blow a tight across your lap, invisible to the cabin crew at all times when you're seated, and whenever the seatbelt sign is illuminated. Tokyo, so everything said yesterday. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does it say yesterday? That's crazy. I'm in the future, y'all. This is crazy. I only it was a 12 hour flight. We were sitting in the way for like three hours. I only slept for like two hours of the 12 hour flight. I couldn't sleep for anything. Oh man. I'm gonna show you my room before my for my for this uh camera dies. Some light, you know, nothing too crazy. But good enough, you know what I'm saying? 